Okay. I'm glad you won't be alone anymore. <laughs> like, you can listen to the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> war, war. <laughs> I, I, I made him a special playlist with the Mars Volta. Ah, oh, yeah. I gave him 30 seconds to Mars. <laughs> I thought he'd like that. <laughs> Everybody loves Jared Leto in the future. <laughs> when he made Morbius 5, that was what it really took off. <laughs> It's right. Morbid time. <laughs> Morbid time. Now I want to say it's so. Then is it Howard's turn? It's either Howard's turn or my turn. Either. Okay, so whoever wants to go next, yeah. Ty, if you, you want to go, you have a place you want to. I can, yeah. I can go. I want to go yeah. to the ice field with uh, Howard. Ah yes. All right, boys. What work do we do together in this ice field? Do you think? Uh, I'd say probably. Readings like maybe life signature readings. Yeah, I like that, like the <laughs> sustainability and stuff. With uh, yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, you have everything set up, and I, I kind of ana- analyze it and try to figure out what's uh, what's possible, what's there. Um, are are you excited? You uh, are you excited more now on planet, or were you more excited when you were flying? Well, you know, I I guess it's it's pretty equal, you know. Uh, every everywhere we go, we're, it's something new. Like so, every every step, every second of this is brand new territory. So it's still pretty exciting, you know. We never know what's gonna be here. Like, who knows? What do you if you analyze this and you know, there's something new? Like we, you know, we you know, we become legends for this discovery. Oh, that, would, that would be nice. I would love, I would love to one day achieve the fame and the glory of uh, of our glorious commander Hooper. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, and then I roll a fourth for the work you do alone. Uh, alone, Mitty is... I think he's cataloging everything because that's the boring stuff that doesn't need, like, uh, need an engineer necessarily is, like, him writing down or typing in all the data and, like, categorizing it up like, okay, this is... These are the levels of the pH of, you know, the atmosphere, all that stuff. So I think that's the boring work that he kind of just, like, settles in and hones in on. Um, while well, some of the more technical stuff is being done by uh, by Howard's, that's it. Kyle Howard, it's your turn. Start wondering about Mitty and his comments. If he might possibly from be part of some side of the moon. <laughs> oh my God! A secret moon Nazi <laughs> somehow made his uh. way in. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say <clears throat> after the ice fields, me and Mitty actually go to the field lab. Oh, yes. Where do we disagree? Uh, I think we're probably disagreeing on um, the sample size we took. Maybe you know, I think maybe you didn't take enough. Maybe you're, you know, you're not, you know, you're the expert, but still, I have my doubts because you know maybe. You should have taken a bigger sample. I, I what it was, um, I, I, I must say, I think I, I did a, a, a fine job. I have never, um, you know, I doctor, scientist, and dentist all rolled into one. Is my specialty, but I, I think I did a, a fine job. Um, and it was cold. It was an ice field. I think it's time to move on to this uh, this lab. I think it's uh, the the time for that was over, and this is the time for now. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, you could have had. A lot more, you know. Uh, if you get inconclusive results, we gotta go back. You know, it would've been easier if you just grabbed a lot more, and we could just test it a lot. You know? Well, that sounds that sounds really boring. I was really excited to see this next place, and we've got plenty of time. I think if we just if we just you know do a, you, I, I think you know best case scenario, it everything works out fine. Worst case scenario, we hoof it back out and have another grand adventure to the ice fields. Or Jack does it. Jack didn't see the ice fields. Jack loves ice. And the cold dead of space, so he would love this. I rolled a, I rolled a one, so it's uh, choose who's right. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll say Cody kind of just like begrudgingly agrees. You know, Doctor's the expert; he, he knows where he's. You know, Cody doesn't have any expertise in analyzing that kind of data, so he's just like, well, okay. I mean, that's. You know, if, if it's inconclusive or it fails, you know, I don't want our legacy tarnished, but you're 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 the expert. Yeah. <laughs> expert, yes. 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, that sounds really boring. <laughs> Our Mars collecting ice. <laughs> really high stakes. <laughs> like, okay, so I think, uh, you know, we've explored the red planet and now we are setting up the ha Boom. So now this is kind of. Oh, did it? It's not in here. Oh, there it is. It just took a minute. So. Uh, this is kind of the not end game necessarily, but you see all these like suns, yeah. Which, by the way, a day on Mars is called a soul, huh. soul technically. Uh, uh, so the way this part works is every we have to like describe you see how there's like a red thing on like the workshop, the lab, the rover, and all that stuff. Um, when you use these for the first time, you have to describe setting them up. Like the first time you built it, and like what you did to make it, and and get it functional and all that stuff. Um, we've set up a hab, which is this. It's actually the lander, because uh, you see, it's the satellite gallery cabin. Yeah, yeah. And then recreation. I guess I just like made up. I guess it was repurposed from the cargo. Uh, let me get our tingies out. Uh, let's do that. 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 Uh, and then we'll use this one for the day. That goes there. Uh, and then... Yeah, so we've, we've you know, landed the ship, rejected, or, uh, Jack. Uh, Cody has done an excellent job landing this thing with, uh, a, a, a three out of six. <laughs> I think it's in the spot we needed to. It's in the middle of the dunes, I want to say. So we do have to, like, we're in the middle of everything so we can walk to anywhere we need to go. Um, and yeah, it's just about kind of living on Mars for a little while here. Uh, what was the, the little, the yellow symbol is choose another crew member and describe this together. Okay. So a couple of these, it actually looks like only the Rover is the only one that has that. Um, so if anyone wants to use the Rover, you gotta like describe it together. Ah, okay. Um, but I will, is it me being captain, I have a responsibility to report back to Earth. Uh, so I'll be in the satellite for this soul, and, or Sol, sorry, I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, and I call up, does anyone want to be Earthcom or whatever? Ah, uh, sure. I'll be Earthcom. Hey, what's up, Earth? <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, that is not that we we have a uh, code first. It is ch check. Uh, yes. Check. Uh, ch check received, this is uh, Earth. Earth, we're here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we landed on the big red thing. Good. We did some readings. We did some walking around. We said happy birthday to that robot that was doing real bad. And uh, we're feeling pretty good. Everybody's feeling really good right now. Over. Uh, great. Uh, sh over. We appreciate that. Uh, we appreciate the uh, the kindness to the uh, to our, our our good friend robot out there. Um, have there what been any we name the robot? It should it should have a name. I know there's a real robot. It was like Curiosity or something like that. But let's give ours a name like that, but that's a little sadder. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> it's like a good word for for sad curiosity. Let's call it like happy. <laughs> They're all happy out there. Okay. Oh, well, unless you got a better one. No, we'll keep. Well, happy's get fine for now. Um, like ironic. <laughs> is there is, so samples? Has there been any uh, any any? Have you guys found anything? Uh, not nothing much. We've got drinkable water here if needed. Uh, we can use it to. Uh, it's got enough nitrogen and all that other shit in it. Uh, the doctor says it could. It, we could uh, probably make potatoes if we poop enough. Uh, so that we could use it for fertilizer. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna Matt Damon this shit for a little while. Good. You, you didn't find any anything out of out of place or odd. We we once had an incident on the moon. I squint. I'm like, oh, I know, I know about that. Nah, no, we didn't see any of them. You know what's out here? But I'm keeping my eye open. Good. You you sent me for a reason, yes. and I know it. <laughs> I got my laser gun ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's become a whole different game. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the hunt for Martian Nazis. <laughs> no, if we see anything, I'm shooting first and asking that's, never. That's what we understood. Just yeah. like we would, just like we taught you. Yeah, I did see a goat out there though. 
just walking around. Like, did you guys put that there? We you didn't launch like a goat, like how we used the monkey. Remember how we sent the monkey to the moon and it established a moon colony yes. and it talked about it, you know, it made a whole bunch of other monkey friends and then they kind of took over the moon for a little while until we nuked the moon for a little bit. And then the name of the moon Nazis rose up from the underground to that. You know, it's like that. Did you send a goat to Mars? Uh, I do this all over again? Not America, but uh, it might have been some. Oh, dang it, I knew it! I knew it was a Russian goat. <laughs> Just by the way it, it said, duh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll keep an eye out for that goat. It went running off in the hills. It's real fast. Shoot up all the grass on this planet, though. I was really looking forward to walking around and feeling the grass between my toes. There's not a single single blade out here. <laughs> that, but that's just very disappointing. Yes, I'm very, you're telling me. You're telling me. Okay. <laughs> Over. <laughs> Over. Check. I believe I said yeah. check. Yeah. All right. Who wants to go next? Uh, I'll, I'll go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, so Cody will set up the workshop. Ah, perfect. Okay. So you got to describe building it and setting it up for your first time using it, and then uh, you can. I think you can just choose one of those tabs. I don't think you can. I think it's the next turn you do because it mentions someone else could. Oh, okay. So yeah. you're basically you use it the first time you set it up. Next person can then do yeah. something. Else. Okay. Yeah. So it's a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, Cody gets over there and he starts uh, getting all the uh, you know, uh, paneling up uh, getting everything set up expanding everything uh, you know, bolting everything in no issues, it seems all the parts to there uh, you know, it gets everything going, power goes up pretty well uh, but he's uh, you know, he's, he's worried about uh Still worried about the doctor and how he's making weird comments. And not exactly sure he's doing everything the right way. <laughs> Jack doesn't have the, his his Nazi senses off because he's being flattered. <laughs> <laughs> he's being played. <laughs> we got a secret uh, ex ape moon Nazi. <laughs> okay, what are you doing, Mitty? Uh, Mitty is going to go to the, uh, the aforementioned, uh, new center and, um, the workshop and how he fix what is broken. Um, I think with, with, uh, with Hooper's consent, I think what is broken may be some of your teeth after, after these many months. <laughs> so I am going to, uh... I don't know what you're talking about. I only got, like, two on this side left. <laughs> I'm going to... We're gonna make my new teeth now? I'm going to, I'm going to make some tooth molds and, um like maybe six and you're gonna be like a little bit like the guy that one villain from the uh the james bond movie Not i was just about to ask i wanted some crocodile teeth this time around oh okay well they'll be metal because i don't i mean the yeah. bone here but um yes yeah, some um some metal crocodile teeth not all of them but like you've got still like those random six human teeth but then mostly metal yeah. crocodile yeah. beyond that that makes sense yes that's fair <laughs> to uh, eat Eat. All right, get in there, Doc. Give me, <laughs> give me that jaw I want. I'm gonna. I want that bling bling. Yep, I will uh, put you under with our potato whiskey um, that we've <laughs> we've made over there. <laughs> no potatoes. These potatoes taste like my shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's my it's my <laughs> there with potato vodka. My own shit. Um, and and chalked up ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and filtered through a human body. I will. Uh, I will get you nice and toasted, and I will begin. Um, Inserting my metal crocodile teeth one after the other, just kind of pounding them in and uh, <laughs> sewing. <laughs> I'll, Super violent. I'll make sure to clean up afterwards, so I know, I know. Uh, Cody just set this place up, so I don't want to make a mess, but it is it is messy. <laughs> it is some messy work. Oh, yeah. man. And, and the end result isn't bad. Um, Actually, I will roll for it. I might roll it over. Oh, no, yes. I really need six, so I'm going to keep that. It's awesome. You've, uh... Oh, yeah. They're, they're just super cool. Like, I chomp almost all the way through my cigar. I'm like, ah! and I just eat the rest of it. <laughs> I, can eat, I feel like I can eat anything with these. Yeah, yeah. You've ad we've adapted to the new environment. You can eat moon rocks. You can, oh, well, shit. you can chew moon rocks. <laughs> You're a good doctor. You know that? <laughs> yeah, You're a really good doctor. I am. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so impressed with I'm your a good ability. doctor and a better dentist. <laughs> you have terrible advice. <laughs> okay, we moved on to the next Saul. Uh, who, and let's see, I think I'll go first this time. Uh, I'll prep, I'll, I'll go down to the agricultural dome. And, uh, you know, we've, we've built it according to the specs. We got, you know, all the structure up and everything. I'm welded it all together. Only thing left is to keep fertilizing it. <laughs> so you just see me whip out, copy of my good book, the right stuff, and I just squat over an open field. <laughs> and it's just, it's like a wide shot. You just see Hooper with his pants down, squatting over a field, just, mm, mm, true brother, Bob White. <laughs> just flipping through pages reading the right stuff and that's what he does the whole day nice. so who's next I will um, I will set up the lab as I, I it occurs to me like the workshop probably wasn't what what, <laughs> what, what uh, Cody meant when he set it up like oh a lab would probably make more sense for, for operations <laughs> and for uh, things of this nature so I will um, I will spend the day making sure it's very sterile um cleaning up everything, making sure it's organized. There's like one half for like analysis for like the, this, everything on the Mars and then one half for like actual medical, medical laboratory work. Mm. Good, 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 good. I, uh, I, I've i also added tokens just to what we've built so we know like what we have, yeah. All right, Mr. Howard. So, uh, co- Cody, slightly irritated, is still in the workshop, uh, looking at all, all of his misplaced tools for uh, what when Mitty did uh, some surgery in here when he should have been do- doing it in the lab. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> and you can't be here. Some tools are missing, presumably taken by the doctor to help set up his lab. Um, after messing up the work he did already and he's just like god damn it he's like, this guy <laughs> comes in here makes a mess doesn't put anything back in the right spot now my tools are missing because he probably didn't bring his own so now he's using my, my tools to build his lab where he should have done all this shit in the first place <laughs> that's a- I like that these two things, like the workshop and the lab, are like a cross <laughs> yeah. each other too. So you guys are like two siblings that just aren't getting along right now. Like, you stay on your side. <laughs> and another Saul goes by. Uh, let's see. So Dad, me, is going to start working on the return shovel. Shuttle. Uh, so that way, just because, the, you know, the agriculture dome has been thoroughly fertilized. <laughs> And so I, uh, you know, it's set up the the return shuttle is actually the, like something we pull out of the original shuttle. Uh, it's a much smaller version because it's just going to ship us right back without any of the things we needed to set up this area. And uh, uh, so it's basically just moving it out of the, the regular habitat and then bringing it up to where it's safe to launch it after we leave. Um, so that's just kind of manual labor that just takes a day. And, and, and uh, Hooper does it with his shirt off. <laughs> like, he's got his grandpa curls and everything. <laughs> and he's just, he's really just thriving on Mars. It turns out being away from Earth and all of his problems are just like, <laughs> I just start taking my real shirt off. <laughs> it just, it's really starting to like become something he wants to, he, you know, he's, he's just finding himself really into. My kid's also tapping on the window over there. And he's probably wondering why I'm wearing a wig. <laughs> and then, and then that happens. Oh, yeah, then he hears a tap on the window. <laughs> There's a goat. The goat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he gets his ray gun and he starts running <laughs> over. But by the time he gets even to the window, the goat is gone. And he's not even sure if he saw it. <laughs> Except there's four rose petals on the ground. <laughs> rose petals. Rose. Martian roses. <laughs> A good old desert rose. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's the end of Jack of Priester. Okay, uh, I will spend freaking mouse back. There we go. Uh, I will use my turn to go to uh, 
I think w what uh, what he is going to do is he's going to go to the Agriculture uh, Dome. And what Mitty is going to do in the Agriculture Dome is uh, look at what we're growing, which is, like, we're finally growing. We're growing potatoes for sure, but, like, we're growing other stuff, too. Um, we've gotten it good enough. We got we got some uh, a little bit of rosemary in there, some mint, um, maybe a nice zucchini. And uh, he's psyched. He's psyched to not have to eat the, the pre-made food. And, like, he is, he's visibly, like, shaking with excitement as he, like, inspects it and is just, he's so ready to try to cook something. Nice. There's also tobacco plants growing. <laughs> <laughs> <Not. laughs> I'm planting the mouth of the mouth stuff that it's managing to actually spur something. <laughs> Or no, even better, I did not plant it, <laughs> but it came through in my feces <laughs> that I fertilized the plant. <laughs> Amazing. So it's like random. They're, they're yeah. not growing in a patch. They're just growing between shit. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Any Anything else there? Nope. Or just... That's it. Okay. Uh, now your turn, Mr. Mr. Cody. Uh, Cody's going to go into uh, the recreation to work off some steam um, after the uh, consistently messy doctor. It's fair. It's fair. <laughs> uh, you know, he just thinks of himself like, oh, it, build a, build this room. Get blood everywhere. Takes my tools. Leaves them everywhere. <laughs> 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 it's true. It, like you see him like bench pressing, and it like every time he just grunts like as it, as, soon as he pushes up, he's like tools. <laughs> Like, um, blood. It's just like, like, like going over all the things he's pissed off about. <laughs> Start to worry about. Like Jack's having a great time, and he turns kind of. I'm so, kind of nothing's kind of happening. <laughs> all right, another soul goes by. Uh, uh, I want to set up the rover. I'm, oh, okay. I'm gonna make it. Uh, it looks like just a really big version of the rover we we saved. You guys saved. It's a really Ooh. big version of that, but I also gave it like uh, giant metal teeth to match Hoopers. It's got giant like arrow alligator teeth <laughs> in it on the front. Well, Arthur gets awesome. <laughs> and a little and a little uh, happy birthday hat too. To make it match. <laughs> yeah. It is its birthday. You made it. And we play, uh, we play the Happy Birthday by the Beatles. Yeah. We're all dancing in our, well, me and you are dancing in our spacesuits. Well, <laughs> while Co Cody stares at us like uh, Jack Torrance <laughs> from the window. Shining. <laughs> Cody, from the shining. Cody's looking from like a window and you see him with one of those, uh, like the, uh, the hand grips, like just. <laughs> and he's extremely <laughs> jacked now. <laughs> Work just. So in this is lower gravity, he's been able to pump twice as much, even though that's not quite how it works. <laughs> no um, one could have no, it's, like, it's like the Dragon Ball Z chamber. It yeah. like changes the gravity in there. <laughs> well, it's it's actually less gravity though. <laughs> not in the right. No, it changes it so there's more gravity, so it's like two times Earth's. I don't weight. think we have <laughs> <laughs> We we have. I guess if we have enough, Nazis, we can. Yeah, end. exactly. Because I guess we have the. <laughs> Anything the goes at this point. Though. Fuck it. <laughs> to see the moon with monkeys, I guess we could change gravity a little harder. Or no, no. It, actually, you, how about this instead? You don't. You're not changing the gravity, but you've added so many resistant weights to like everything, like bands, and it's just all bungee corded. It's like hard to move around in there. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that, uh, uh did, did you want to go, uh, Cody? That wasn't technically your turn, that was just us riffing. Yeah, um, let's see. You know, I'm gonna do a gathering in the galley. Oh! Ooh. What'd you want, Cody? What's up? We're all out there throwing, spilling champagne all over the new rover. Yeah, which, that, by the way, a rover is different from the the derelict. Like uh, uh, the the rover, that's like a science rover. This is like a rover we can drive in. I know, but like, I made it look like it. It's, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. I'm just it's, making sure. The trying to keep it scientifically accurate, guys. <laughs> why we need to talk? You guys, like, you're you're both being real messy. I mean, you're leaving. 
you're taking my tools, you're leaving them around, you're coming unprepared, throwing champagne around. We don't, we don't, we don't know how it's gonna interact with rust on here. We don't, we don't know. Like, and now, you know, you're just, just lollygagging around. You know, we got work to do. We got a mission. You guys are just fucking around. Jesus, Linda, we go over the. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right. Okay. I just walk out of the room. <laughs> but we have to remember we... my old life for just a minute. <laughs> we have we have to celebrate the rover. I mean, I, I if not champagne, I mean, I don't know what we would. We can't light candles out there. Um. Uh, we, we, don't have, we don't have confetti. We must celebrate birth. It happens so <laughs> rarely here. It's a miracle, it's really. The... It's a miracle that the doctor put a rover together. Well, it, it, it could happen It's often. made out of potatoes. He, he the samples right. <laughs> I'm, I'm just one doctor doing the best he can on the Mars. On the, the, I almost said the moon Mars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What a popado! <laughs> Cody just stared at Mark. That was a typo, Bob. But... <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Cody becomes increasingly more suspicious. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, Jack finally comes back in. Okay. Okay. You want us to be a little tidier? Right, Cody? Yes. I flick my cigar in his face. I'm the commander! <laughs> I am the commander! If I say we throw a party for Jonathan out there, the rover we named Jonathan, then we throw a party. We throw a best party. You didn't even show up. You didn't even get him a present. You know how it feels? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> we op I open the window slightly and Mad World is playing from the rover. <laughs> <laughs> Don't open the window! <laughs> I don't need to know. Because oh. I can I can go back home. I can I'm the one that'll fly us back home to get our birthdays. Get our birthday for more of our birthdays. <laughs> to get our birthdays back. <laughs> That's what this was all about. That's what this all was about, wasn't it? You always were in it for the birthdays. I knew it. <laughs> Listen, Code, Cody? Cody, Cody Howard, I want you to sit in the corner. I want you to think about what you've done. You got a two minute timeout. Got it? You see him like go to the corner and then do like a handstand. He's just doing like push ups on the wall in the corner. <laughs> just one sweat comes all the way down. <laughs> That's right. Okay. A little bit of order on this ship. I know we've been having fun here on the big red one, but gotta, gotta keep it in check. Gotta remember chain of command. It's me, and it's a, the good doctor, and then it's you. I don't think that's up to you, Commander. <laughs> <laughs> you guys never stated what what rank you are, so I have no idea. I, 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 I mean, what are the impression you're a lieutenant sure commander? I'm pilot outranks a doctor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Not especially today, it my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, it doesn't. I'll be in my bunk. Actually, yeah, and uh, th that'll actually segue pretty nicely to, I do move to my cabin. Uh, and my personal space is, uh, it, you know, it's it's a it, you know the framework is a lot like everybody's. Mine's slightly bigger because I'm the commander, so it's got a window that faces out towards Jonathan the rover, and uh, the rest of it. I have, <laughs> I have uh, since we're on gravity Earth or not Earth, uh, but you know like we have gravity now. We have like, like normal looking beds, and I have a uh, Top Gun uh, mattress cover with like a big blanket that has Tom Cruise and Goose high fiving on it. <laughs> it says the Top Gun Maverick logo or whatever on it, and uh, and I look out the, I sit on the bed and I I think about the little outburst I had where I accidentally mentioned my ex wife's name. And, I, and then I look out the window to Mars, and I'm like, she's not here, man. You're not here. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And then I look I look at the mirror, and for a split second, I see Dan Hamlet's reflection <laughs> looking back at me, and his face melts. <laughs> and then we cut to whatever the next 